Hey, it's your Adrian again. Uh, I'm back out to range. I'm going to try out a new bullet. The 70 grain spear. Soft point. Or semi-pointed soft point. Um, the Elgeves, it's a long bullet. It's way actually down in here. But it's not too long. That On the box it says 1 in 10 twist. But I've read so many reviews of people shooting them out of 1 in 14s and 1 in 12s. Um, I'm going to try it out of a 1 in 12, but uh, I'll give you on the bullet if I, I should have brought a bullet in, but it's out here next to the end. The only other bullet I've seen with the old give out here next to the end, old jive, old give, however you say that, is the Remington Corlock. But uh, this is out of my 22-250. I've got a uh, Thompson Center Venture Predator, 22-250. Uh... It's got the, it's a thin barrel, but it's fluted. I don't know why they did that on a thin barrel, but, and then uh, got the 60 degree bolt lift. Smooth, works good. This is a very accurate rifle. I do have the Burris Predator Quest, uh, four and a half by 14 by 42 scope on here. It has the side focus on it. Uh, and... I'm going to be trying it out. I've got my Golden Bullet chronograph set up. I'm going to try it. I'm shooting them for groups uh, with Spear load data. Spear says they offer Reloader 16, which is what these are loaded with. Then they offer Reloader 17, and they also offer, um, and then on the Hornady book, the uh, Hornady Superformance Powder. Uh, and out of the Hodgson low data, the Superformance powder had the highest velocity. Of course, it's 24-inch barrel. This is 22-inch barrel. It said 34.99. Now, if I can get a 70-grain bullet traveling out of, uh, you know, 22-250, it's 22-inch barrel, though. So you're going to lose some. Say I can get it 3,300 foot per second or somewhere in there. That's, you know, I'd love to get 34 or 35, but if I can get 33 out of it, then that's definitely going to uh, put a knockdown on the coyote. I've read a lot about people using this bullet for deer. On the box it says farm it. And there is actually no YouTube videos really about this bullet out there at all. Because uh, I was researching it. And I've been wanting to try them for a while. And I uh, thought, well... Why not? I ordered some. Thought I'd give them a whirl. So uh, hopefully I don't shoot my chronograph. And uh, my chronograph's turned on. So let's get up here and shoot some before I waste all my time. set up, but apparently I don't completely set yet. Okay. And you know what I forgot to do? Put on mirror mode. Everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect. And I'd like to say, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Reloader 16, first one is 3,185 foot per second. I have not cleaned this rifle in a while, the barrel. I have not cleaned it in a while. Don't know where that hit. I'm just going to shoot. Oh, yeah, that's it now. I'm just shooting for groups and to get a little load data. I ain't shot my chronograph yet. That was 3142. And I hit it with my hand, threw it back in there. Ah. Well, 
the holes are perfectly round, so the one and twelve twist does stabilize them. That was 31, 3157. I'm gonna let it cool off some. Just lightly warm. Uh the only problem I see here <laughs> I shot three rounds. There's two holes in the target. One of them is a little oblong, so the first round went half inch high, one inch to the left, which I'm just shooting for grips. I don't care if it's in a bullseye or not. Okay. The second round that a shot, and the third round that a shot, both, because that's elongated out, went half inch high, half inch to the left. They're both through the same hole. The only difference is one of them is just a little bit elongated. Just a little bit wider than the other one. They're perfectly round, except for the elongated one. Oh, but hey. Reloader 16. Told you this is an accurate rifle. That's a three shot, half inch group. At 100 yards. Let's see. See what the. Okay, average velocity 3161, extreme spread 43, standard deviation 18, not bad, 3161. Right, I'm going to pause this while I go uh, get my pen so I can write this down, information, let the barrel cool and I'll be back with you. I forgot to say temperature today is uh, 51 degrees, it's overcast, I shouldn't have to use my uh, light diffuser on the chronograph, but I am. Uh, now I'm going to try Reloader 17. Reloader 17 has always been a st speed king in every cartridge I've ever you know used it in. It's always had a higher velocity. The only downfall to uh, Reloader 17 is its sensitivity to temperature. So let's see. I'm going to shoot at a different spot. I don't know if it'll go in the same spot or not. Yeah. Better look at my group and see if it's in the same spot or not. Huh. That one was in the corner of the bullseye. Sandbag set, I'll be all right. That went in between the first three shots. Uh, the reloader 16. Point of impact ain't a whole lot. Two of them is in the bullseye, almost touching. Almost touching. The second shot went up with the other two, so it's a half inch higher. That's exactly it. Measured over, you're looking at. It's a half inch above the other two shots, but if you measure from the farthest ones apart, it's probably right at three quarters of an inch. Uh, let me go through the stats. Uh, first, see. The high was 32.09. The low was 31.82. Average 31.91. Uh, extreme spread 27. Standard deviation 13. Let me write all this down, let it cool, and I'll be back with you. All right. Let's try the Hornady Superformance Powder and see what we get out of this. The overall length on this is what the book recommends. I didn't. 
which is kind of surprising. I think it's because I'll give it so far out on the bullet. It's 20,000 shorter. Normally it's 2.350 on the 22250. And that, you set them with that on this rifle and it shoots everything you put in it uh, accurately. Uh, the velocities, they're decent. They're 3,100. Uh, the Reloader 16 is definitely right now the reigning king of accuracy between it and the Reloader 17. Uh, Reloader 17 is probably a three quarter inch group, but that's still not bad. Uh, this rifle, I shot the Barnes TSX 53 grains at 300 yards and uh, ended up shooting quarter, uh, three quarter inch group at 300 yards. It's an inch and a half to the right, but we, the wind was varying that day. But there is a three quarter inch, those all three inside the one inch squires, and they wasn't near the line. And I measured it center to center, and it's three quarter of an inch. Uh, didn't have my dial calipers with me, so I can't give specific increments. But I used my Leatherman, which has a, a measuring tape on it. Uh, the barrel is cooled down enough. Let's try the Hornady Superformance and see if we get any higher velocities and see where the accuracy is. I hope they don't go in the same holes. Um, them two shooting pretty close to where each other is. Uh, but accuracy wise, reloader 16, and it's only 30 foot per second slower. It's 3160, whatever it was. Well, let's find out and see what she does. Yes, I'm going to look at each shot out of this one because I need to know where the bullets are going. Okay, one inch to the left, almost dead level. And by the way, so far every one of them has been uh, perfectly round hole. 3,324 foot per second with the Hornady Superformance. Now if accuracy stays up, that might be the load. Remember, it's overcast, cloudy, you know, 51 degrees. I kind of wiggled on that one. Don't know where it went. Just a little blow it. That was my fault. Couldn't get set in sandbags. That's about three quarter inch to the left. And three eighths of an inch below it, maybe. That one was thirty two seventy seven. That one was 3288. Huh. And that one is three quarters of an inch to the right. It's in the edge of the bullseye. Right next to the reloader 17 one. Now, I do have one more. I loaded four of them because I didn't want to use nine primers. I use, they come in a row of ten, so. Let me go ahead and do this before I shoot that, and I don't want to ruin the spread to give you the stats here. High was 3324. Low was 3277. Average is 3296. 3296 uh, 47 extreme spread and 20 for a standard deviation well that's it I'm running out of time I'll do another video on this later I might have just overall length with that one I think I'll just